About a year and a half ago, I built a power feed for my Proxon mill. For much more background information about stepper motors and their control, I would like to refer to that video. That power feed works fine, reliably, and is compact. However, I did not like the design very much, and I was not completely satisfied with the choice of only six speeds. I would like to see a steplessly adjustable feed rate and a nice display to check the settings. This tiny controller seems like an ideal solution to me. This thingy is ridiculously cheap. I paid less than 15 euros for it. The speed of the stepper motor can be continuously adjusted from virtually a standstill to approximately 300 RPM, which should be more than enough. This programmable stepper motor controller consists of two parts, the controller and a power stage. It is important that the clockwise and counterclockwise speed can be preset differently and can be adjusted while working. I'm not going to use the power stage. Due to its low power, it is not suitable for the stepper motor that I am going to install. Instead, the controller stage will control the much more powerful stepper motor driver that I had in the previous power feed. I will not be using the stepper driver housing. I removed the circuit board and mount it against the back of the housing. That saves a lot of space. The minimum dimensions for the inside of the enclosure are determined, and I can start machining. I have set the X and Y axes of the digital readout to zero, which also comes in handy when drilling the four holes. The inside dimension from hole to hole plus the outside dimension from hole to hole divided by four 
gives one number for all four whole coordinates. By using a stop plate in the vise, I ensure equal distances for all drill holes for mounting the walls of the housing. I remove all the connectors, they stick out too much, and soldering the wires to the circuit board is my preference. The walls for the housing are ready, it is now time to start installing the wiring. Here is the fairly simple connection diagram.
We are almost done, just screw it together. Test whether it works and then mount it on the x-axis of the mill. This solution does not require a clutch. Once the power feed is turned off, both coils of the stepper motor are also disconnected, and therefore the motor offers very little resistance to rotation. So moving the table with the hand wheel is no problem at all when the power is off. The controller can also be programmed for special tasks. For example, go a fixed number of steps clockwise, then wait a number of seconds, and then rotate a fixed number of steps counterclockwise and repeat that process a set number of times while the RPMs for both directions can be different. There are many more of these programmable modes. I don't know yet whether I will use this in practice, but who knows? I might one day find an application for it. That's it for this time. Next video, I will continue with the Bandsaw project, which will be the last video of that series. Hope to see you then.